Hey everybody, it's Trevor here with the channel where every day is range day and in this week's video we're going over another cool EDC wallet from Axwell. Let's check it out. Alright guys, and as usual, full disclosures up front, Axwell did send us these products to review, but they did not pay us for any positive reviews or promotion. Just like normal, they sent us some stuff and we're going to review it. So let's get into it. And as we get into checking out these walls, of course, if you're not familiar with Axwell, they are a company that produces some EDC gear, namely being these wallets that you can see in front of you. They did send us a couple to try out and review. And that's what we're going to be getting into. We got these just a little bit ago and I've used mine for about a week or so, but we'll still go through the whole unboxing thing so you can see what you get when you order a wallet from Axwell. Similar to a couple of the other EDC wallets here on the market, these are more of the minimalist metallic design as you can see here. Mostly designed for just like a little money clip or a cash strap type thing and then just holding some cards. Not really your typical bifold or trifold wallet. And if you know me on the channel, that's definitely something I'm into. The sleek minimalist metallic design just for holding credit cards and maybe a little bit of paper. It's all that I'm really after, so this is definitely right up my alley. And just a couple notes about Axwell. Of course, they do primarily produce these EDC type wallets and also a couple other EDC pieces of gear on the website. And one of their core missions, which is something that we're definitely happy to get behind here on the channel at Range Day, is the support of homeless veterans, both in the United States and Canada. In the United States, a portion of the proceeds for every sale goes to support the Veterans Community Project. And if you're in Canada, that goes to the Homes for Heroes Foundation. Both causes we're happy to get behind. So thanks again to Axwell for providing this. We're happy to support the cause and happy to check out some cool gear from your company. So let's get into it. Here you can see I have their copper version of their EDC wallets. The bulk of their other wallets are the Aerospace Aluminum, that's 6061 T6 for the shell. And then I think they're also coming out with maybe a steel version in the future. So stay tuned, we might be checking that one out as well. This is the box you'll get with the wallet, nice and sleek, just like the wallet itself. Here you can see a little bit about the company and what's included in addition to the wallet. You do get the money clip and the cash strap included standard, which is not the case with a couple of other EDC wallets out there. So that's a nice touch. And just a couple of the features that they have outlined here on the back, you know, ultra slow design, maglock cover plates, which we'll get into in a minute. RFID blocking, aerospace grade materials, and the fact of um, aluminum. I'm not sure if copper is aerospace grade or not. And of course there is a lifetime warranty, which is nice to notice as well. And also with the copper material, it doesn't naturally feature antimicrobial properties if that's something that interests you. But enough about that, let's take a look at it. Again, I've used mine for about a week or two here, so it's not quite the first unboxing, but this is what you'll get when you open the box for the first time. You do have the main wallet itself, which is the cash strap, strap around the outside, which I'll take off here. It's got their logo here and the same tear stop elastic that you can find on the actual uh, spine of the wallet here. I'm not huge into the cash straps, but it's nice to have if that's what you're into. I'm more of a money clip kind of guy which we'll get into how you install that here in a minute. Then we also have the wallet itself. You can see I've got a little wear on mine itself. And you'll even notice on the box here, the copper does have a little bit of scuffs and scratches on it. Copper's a soft metal, guys. So if you pick this one, that is definitely something that's gonna happen. It's a consequence of the material, not necessarily anything that uh, Axwell or any other company would do wrong with using copper. I thought it was a super cool look, so that's why I picked it. Just something to be aware there though, with the copper. The aluminum finishes should be a bit more durable. But this is the wallet itself. Pretty shiny copper that you can see here. And these are the magnetic plates that strap onto the outside. You see you got a couple of magnets here, six there, six there. And that's how you can change and mix and match different color plates if you don't wanna go with copper all the time, different color aluminum, things like that are definitely possible using these Axwell wallets. But it's also a key feature in how you install the different straps and money clips on these particular wallets. So when you take it all the way apart, you do have two main cover plates and then the two inner plates here that make up the wallet. This is the inner elastic track made out of their tear stop material. It's core to how these wallets type function. You kind of stretch the wallet out and your cards will be sandwiched in between the plates and held in place largely with the help of this elastic strap. So this would be a key wear item to keep track of as we use these wallets. You definitely don't want this tearing or fraying or anything like that. It looks to be a pretty solid and stretchy material here for now. I haven't had any problems in the week or two that I've had it, but we'll definitely keep track of this as time goes on. This is the main components of the wallet here, the two outer plates pretty much sandwich them back to back like this. And then if you're ever needing to take this apart and clean it, that's how you do it. And then you just pull this strap and wrap it around so it fits kind of in this little channel created here by the edges of the wallet. I like to line the seam up somewhere in there versus on the edges, just so you don't see it. And then these plates simply snap into place via the maglock system here. 
is a pretty nice system. I know a couple of other wallets have teeny tiny little screws that are either a pain in the butt to actually use or you might lose them. And I do like the mag locks here. They're definitely tough enough and you won't be just uh, having these come off in normal use so I wouldn't worry about it like that. It also makes it just a little bit easier to customize your wallet down the road if that's something you're like and also be able to disassemble it and things like that. Again, they snap in there pretty firm. Everything's pretty tight when it's in here, no clicking and clacking. Good tight fits, good quality construction, definitely good things to see, and I'm definitely a fan of that so far. Going into a couple features of it as we have it right now, of course these metals on the outside are all RFID blocking, both with help with the outer plate and the inner plate here. Most of these wallets have RFID, and the Axwell wallets are no exception. Again, these are pretty slim wallets overall. Of course, they can hold uh, you know, one to 12 credit cards with this one, so that'll vary the thickness here. But compared to a normal bifold or trifold, they are definitely a lot slimmer and sleeker. And that's a big thing that drew me to this over a traditional wallet. I hated having that bulky lump of a wallet inside my pocket. And these things will change your life once you switch out of that world, trust me. I'm a big fan of this type of wallet going forward and I'm happy to give these Axwell wallets a try. Going from there, they do have the oversized finger cut here on the side. Some of them are a little tinier than this, but this is what you use to get your thumb in there to push the cards out the side, which we'll go through here in a minute. And it's nice to have one just a little bit bigger so that this part's easier. It's one of the main touch points of using this wallet every day. So anything that can make this functionality just a little bit easier and smoother is definitely a win in my book. But again, I said I was more of the money clip kind of guy and this goes in pretty easy. You see here just a little metallic clip with their logo on the side and these two little snap divots here that will slide over the plate into these divots that you can see there so when I have mine you hold the wall and you push it like this for the cards to come out I like to have the clip on this top portion here for me you can put it on either side and it doesn't really matter that's how I like to set my wallets up and all you do is line this up with the track in the middle push it down you should hear a little bit of a click like that and this is now in place. You can just peel this up here and pull this clip back off if you want to use the strap instead, or just move this clip around. Pretty easy to move and put on there. Big fan of that. Snap the plate back on and there you go. Now it's ready to put credit cards in, maybe stash some cash here on the clip. I like to put some paper documents over on this side, like my concealed carry permit, maybe an insurance card. And then I tap it with my ID, which is something that I use a lot at airports and other things. So it's a quicker spot to access it here. And I find that if you put paper on this side, like cash or maybe your concealed carry card, something like that, and you're pulling it in and out of your pocket, the edges are gonna fray a lot unless it's laminated. That's why I like to cap it with my ID here so you can actually um, damage the edges of that paper as easily. And again, this will hold one to 12 cards plus some bills on the side. And that'll largely govern uh, the thickness here, but I find the 12 card limit to be more than adequate. I don't think I carry near that many cards. And if I do, maybe I could stand up lose a few. And this is what the wallet will look like with a couple cards in there. I think I have nine cards in the wallet right now. And then I would have, you know, maybe a little bit of paper in my ID under the money clip. But more or less, this is nine cards and it can hold actually three more. And the main way that these wallets function is you use this thumb group here to push the cards out. And then you can pull them out this side. It was a little awkward for me the first time I used these wallets, but I've since grown used to it. And I'm definitely a fan of how these type products function as a whole. They're definitely a whole lot sleeker and thinner. And that's the main reason I switched to them. Well, you would push these cards out here with your thumb. They come out this side. And then I like to pinch the back side of the card here. You can see it actually fans them out a little bit. And then you can grab one out and use it for whatever you need to do. The ones on the bottom side are a little tougher to get to being down there. They're really the top two or three are the ones that I use the most. Those are definitely the easiest ones to get to. So keep that in mind. But I feel like that would function um, pretty well for most people. Most people usually use the same two or three credit cards or shopper cards or something like that. The first two or three cards here are definitely pretty easy to access. But pinching this a little bit to fan them out is definitely a big help. Definitely what I'd recommend. That's all there is to it. Nice and simple, not too much in here to complicate it. And it is looking to be a solid product from Axwell so far. And after taking a look at this Copper EDC wallet, kindly sent in by Axwell today, I have to say my first impressions are pretty positive. I do have to note that compared to the aluminum ones, the copper one's about twice as heavy. Copper's just a heavier metal and these plates are significantly heavier on the copper ones, I think it's only like five and a little bit ounces for this one versus two and a half or something for the aluminum one. So we're talking about ounces here, but if you hold one in this hand, one in the other hand, you'll definitely be able to tell a weight difference for this one. I can only imagine that the steel ones coming out in the future would be even heavier, and that's just something to be aware of. 
a couple of other items to hit on. Of course, there is a lifetime warranty on these products, so I have no concern about their durability right now. But if there is ever an issue, I'm sure their warranty would cover it. It's lifetime. And you also have a 50-day risk-free guarantee up front. So it's definitely something that's a positive if you're unsure that you like this type of wallet or have any concerns about durability with the magnets or just maybe you won't like this type of thing. Try it out for 50 days. No problem at all. Definitely a good thing to have from the company. Axwell also says that these things could stop a bullet. We'll have to see what that actually means in terms of caliber. We might be testing that out here in the future at the range with their aluminum and then maybe the steel version in the future and just seeing what exactly these things are capable of. I'm sure the steel one will be able to stop something a lot more than uh, the aluminum and definitely the copper, but that's something interesting that they posted on their website. We might be putting it to the test here in the future at the range, so stay tuned for the possibility of that. But overall, my first impressions on these EDC wallets from Axwell are overwhelmingly positive. The minimalist EDC concept is definitely something that I uh, am glad I discovered about a year or two ago, and it fits the bill for what I need in a wallet nowadays. I don't carry cash or paper too much, so that's not as important. Mainly just cards, and this is a nice, slim and sleek way to get everything I need in a nice and sturdy wallet that doesn't just add a ton of bulk for no reason. So I'm a big fan of these wallets from Axwell, and I'll definitely be using it as my EDC wallet in the future. I'm a big fan of the Maglock panels here. It's an easy way to assemble the wallet, move your accessories around, and even mix and match colors. Big fan of the money clip just for me. But there's also a cash strap included, if that's more your speed. And it's definitely nice that they have both of these included standard, no additional upcharges there, which is not something that you'll see in every company out there. Prices for these wallets, I think, range anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks or something like that. Maybe a little bit more for some more premium materials. I think the copper one's right around $100. And that's definitely a lot cheaper than some of the other products that are sort of in the same vein as these EDC minimalist metallic wallets out there. Quality materials combined with their lifetime warranty leave me with no worries at all for how this wallet would hold up in the future. Thanks again to Axwell for sending these out to Range Day. Happy to be working with you guys on these and more than happy to promote your cause of supporting homeless veterans in the United States and Canada. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below. And if you have any questions about the Axwell products we talked about here today, be it the wallets or some of their other little EDC items that you can find on their website, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. We would love to hear from you. And as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel where every day is Range Day. Thanks for watching, guys.